Hey everyone, it's Carissa from Hartman Homestead. Yeah, normally I'm content to deal with the behind the scenes stuff of Hartman Homestead, like caring for the little homesteaders, homeschooling, keeping us all fed and clothed. I also do some of the video editing and editing. And I normally just let Vince deal with the bees while I provide support from the other side of the dining room window, which overlooks the bee yard, and occasionally being a gopher. So you're probably wondering why you've been staring at this lovely cedar tree near our driveway. Well, I needed some footage to start off this video with, and it also plays a big part in my bee adventure that I'm here to share you with today. So there's a honeybee swarm right about there in the tree. About noon the other day, we were hanging out on the back deck, getting some fresh air, and little homesteader number one, who's about five, made a comment about all of the bees flying. I wish I could remember exactly what she said now, but my brain didn't fully register it. My brain jumped right to, oh my, that's a lot of bees. That can't be normal, and something is not right. I'm used to seeing a few dozens, maybe even hundreds of bees flying to and from the hives foraging, but this was thousands. The whole side yard was just a cloud of bees. Hopefully you can get a good idea of just how many bees there are out flying from that video. I ran to the house to the dining room window and took a quick video to send to Vince who was at work. I had a suspicion as to what was happening. And sure enough, within a few minutes, that cloud of bees had moved and settled into that cedar tree about 50 feet off to the right of the bee yard. With Vince guiding me by phone, I quick put together a bait hive and set it up across the driveway. Thankfully, we actually had swarm bait oil on hand. And a couple bees even checked it out while I set it up. For the next hour or two, I kept checking. I could see both the swarm and the bait hive from the living room window. And in the meantime, I watched some YouTube videos and read articles about swarms and their behavior. Most of the time, a swarm doesn't hang out in the area long. It could be as little as five minutes, just a few hours, or sometimes a day or two as the swarm rests until the scouts can find their new home. We had done everything we could, but there was no guarantee the bait hive would work, and a mystery timer was counting down till they left. So call me crazy, Vince did, but if those beekeepers in those videos could collect swarms, I could do it too. So I got Vince's bee jacket and gloves and gathered the supplies I thought I'd need. And with the kids either safely sleeping or watching a movie, with a window open I could hear them through, I bolstered my courage and, yeah, I almost did chicken out, headed outside. And of course, I had to video it. I needed proof after all. Now, I've learned a lot about bees in the last couple of years, because how could you not when you live with a beekeeper? But until today, I had never even put on the bee suit or handled the bees in any way. I was almost a total new bee. Get it? Okay, moving on. It took me a few minutes to get a safe set up for the ladder, and the branch they had set on was just a little higher than I'd like, and the branch they were on was too thick for me to cut it. I almost gave up, but I was determined, and I was, I was able to trim a couple small branches out of the way. Then I realized I could wedge my box into the surrounding branches. Bees in a swarm cling to each other a lot more tightly than expected. A little tap or two did nothing. Okay, I was expecting, but apparently not quite ready enough for the rain of bees on my head. Don't worry, I was totally fine. While I was on the ground, I checked the bees on the sheet that I had spread just in case the queen had fallen. Realizing that the bees weren't swarming around me, and also as long as I had the bee suit on, I felt like I'd be fine. So I was right back up the ladder to finish the job. Most swarms are actually not aggressive, a big reason I was willing to attempt this on my own. They're usually full with resources to get them started in their new home, and I did see pollen on some of them. So they aren't hungry, and they're not defending brood or a hive. The 
whole time I kept my eye out for the queen, knowing that she was the key to keeping the swarm once I got them into their new hive. I never did actually find her, but just seeing how calm the bees are in the box, she most likely was in there. Once I dumped the bees into their bait hive, which I had already moved back over to the bee yard, the bees marched right down into the frames. The top box was empty, no frames in it, to give me more room to work with them. But it also had no weight to it to keep it in place either. Bees could swarm for several reasons. They may not have enough room or there may not be enough resources to support them all. But it's mostly just a way for them to propagate and part of nature. The queen leaves with part of the colony and builds a new colony somewhere else, leaving the original colony to raise a new queen. Bint actually just inspected these hives a week ago. They had plenty of room and plenty of resources. He also discovered that all three of those hives had already swarmed because he found new queens rather than his marked ones. He destroyed a lot of queen cups, which is a way of preventing swarming, and also split off a bunch of frames to make new hives. He must have missed a queen cup though, because obviously they wanted to swarm again. If you do see a honeybee swarm on your property, don't worry about it, just let them be, and please definitely don't spray them. They're just doing what they're meant to be doing. If for some reason you really need or want the honeybee swarm removed from your property, you may be able to find a beekeeper in your local area who's willing and able to come and safely remove them for you. Later, when Vince got home, he finished building up the hive properly since we had only just gotten the barest necessities for the bait hive earlier. And he also gave the swarm hive a frame of brood. This gives them incentive to stay since they have something to care for. The bait oil was also still in the box. Now it's two days later and so far they seem to be doing well and settling in. Hopefully they'll stay put and continue to thrive. Boy, am I looking forward to honey time. Well, thanks for watching and letting me share my first beekeeping adventure with you. We'd love it if you'd like the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. Now I'm off to shop for my own bee suit. You'd better believe I'm getting more involved in the actual beekeeping now whenever I can. Catch you later!